Okay, hi everyone. So let's continue to uh, do our second grid. Is the curvilinear grid? Okay. Uh, you can open your grid and bathymetry. RGF grid. Okay. For this case, uh, I have given you the three cases in Google Classroom, three folder. Okay. But I'm going to just to show you case number three. If you go to the file, attribute file, okay, attribute file, there's a land boundary, polygon, any sample from you do the bathymetry or you do a sampling or maybe sample from other uh, platform or other software like uh, Mike or CMAP from Mike. Or splines okay, import if you have already the grid you can just call the grid but for this part we all we have the land boundary file so we open the land boundary go to the file they are given given you go tutorial generation there are three cases case number one is on a production product case number two is on Kuala Terengganu and number three that we're going to do now is airport Terengganu 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 open so you can see this is the Terengganu airport Terengganu airport here and this is the land boundary okay how to do the land boundary from you can get it from the Google Earth I already uh, also include tutorial from uh, last semester student so you can refer to that report on how to do the land boundary from google earth so so let's say you already have this uh, land boundary so how to do the grid from the land boundary first you need to do a spline function here a spline function okay so there is a spline operation uh, edit spline new spline okay so when you create a new spline you just what you need to do is just click on uh, left on your mouse and you click the point to represent the boundary according to the boundary okay just a straight line and outside the boundary bit once you finish just click right and then you move to the next point same procedure okay You can just also start here if you want no problem yes. okay so this one need a bit curvy just be careful jangan use terlalu dekat because sometimes nanti dia akan berlaku tak stabilize no need to be so close and the point that will clash with each other eh? we can, so we're gonna careful on that matters as well just need to do like that okay let's follow the grid line don't forget to right click another point there That right click the point there right click another point here let's continue doing the same
this year and this one here. I think this one can be the last one, so no worries. Okay, but now you need to do this part as well. Remember, you cannot make sure it doesn't overlap the point. So if you need to change something, you can edit, you can add point, everything is in the report. You can refer on how to add point, on how to delete point. If you make some mistake, you can just click Control Z. And I already also put some. Uh, manual so you can refer to okay, just here everything this uh, here perhaps here a bit here are oh, this too close okay just for practice I'm gonna make this a bit quick but you can take it slow slowly you build your your grid make it a bit nicer and sharper so even though you finish doing the spline if you need to add something the things that the most important is your spline you change your spline and then you can always generate the grid from your spline so if you save the spline uh, your file is enough so you can build any grid from the spline that because you spline your grid you can no longer change your grid here and here this one here finish already and then what you can do is when you finish, you can here change splines into grid. You can click here and it automatically will change the spline. Oh, I'm sorry. So look here, I didn't put the boundary here again. So you can always go back, edit spline, new, you can add another spline here. finish and you can recreate again see so you don't want to see this frame of uh, spline so grid spline height spline so you are only going to be left by the grid that you have okay so what we need to do is to check the auto the grid administration okay before you do the orthogonality you must make sure you check the coordinate first so you view the grid administration not number so find where is the coordinate one so here is the one one so the original should be here or here so you need to rotate the grid one time so where is uh, okay another one grid rotate 
So here is 1, 1. Because this is the land and this is the sea. So you can uh, take this one. And then after that, you can do orthogonality. Orthogonality is just make sh making sure that your uh, grid is stable. So you edit uh, operation orthogonalize grid. Click here and see. Very good. And view grid property uh, grid properties continuous shape. Okay, grid property. So you can see here the autonomy number of each cell. Okay. And of course, you can do grid property style, continuous sheet. Okay, so it shows you that this area is a bit high. Uh, depending on instability. So what you can do is just uh, if you play around or you do another of tonality, tonalized grid, so this is become lower. So we just want to make sure that this number is reduced so that when you run your case, the uh, uh, the instability lah. Okay. View this height, okay. So this one because the two because I put nila you can just adjust it later. So here you can just save the grid import. Same thing you can do grid. And you can save as the grid. So it is already here. Trangano airport grid. Cancel. Okay. And then of course you need to do the similar thing with the death. Go for quick in. Okay, file. You can import the grid file you can select under the case 3 the grid file open so you can see here this one that, that I just uh, that I did before Okay. So what you need to do is similarly minus 20 meter to 5 meter. So you can just click on the tab here. Put here 5 meter. Doesn't show view depth color numbers so you can five meter there and then you can just click here on the minus 20 okay okay and you can do the depth linear from here to there And edit depth ISO line from here to the five meters. And then next one you can do edit depth line sweep second point here. 
to 20 meters. Okay. Edit a uh, view. So you just continue as a sheet. View grid no grid so here you have your grid for cover linear grid for terganu airport then you can export as def dot d e p just put here as airport terganu terganu airport dot dep finish okay so for your assignment you can try case number one and also case number two okay i think that's all for today thank you